Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to House of Cards. Today, the game is different. I want to gamble. Gambling is a very serious business. Is that clear? Welcome to House of Cards. Dave Weishelder with you here, deep from the swamps of Jersey. we got a great show coming up for you. You know, usually during the show, I get to interview some of the biggest newsmakers in the gaming and casino industries. But this week, I'm going to be joined by the House of Cards executive producer, Doug Weishelder, and we're going to actually talk about some of the biggest news stories happening in the gaming and casino industry. Whether it be casinos, sports betting, iGame, eSports, the gaming industry is constantly changing, and Doug's going to pick a couple of the biggest stories that occur in the last month, and we're going to talk about them and see what they mean for the gaming industry. So when we come back, we're talking about some of the biggest gaming and casino news stories of the month. So stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. Hey, this is Dave Weishuttle from House of Cards with your House of Cards gaming report for the week of August 26, 2024. BetMGM announced the launch of the Wheel of Fortune online casino in Ontario. This is the second BetMGM brand-led online casino in North America. The Wheel of Fortune online casino was first launched in 2023 in New Jersey. Station Casinos will soon launch a new brand of small gaming properties. These properties will be taverns under the brand 76 by Station Casinos and will open their first in North Las Vegas next month. Other taverns will be added, which will give the company a way to expand their loyalty program and reach more sports bettors through their STN sports brand. And finally, the second WSOP Paradise Live Poker Tournament will take place from December 6th to the 19th and will feature a tournament with a record-breaking prize pool. The $25,000 Buy-In No Limit Hold'em Championship will offer a $50 million guaranteed prize pool, which is the largest in live poker history. The WSOP Paradise event will be held at Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas. Sounds like an amazing event. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on X at HOC Radio. You're listening to House of Cards. I'm talking sick piles of money. I'm talking lay on your bed in your Vegas room, throw the money in the air, and dance as it showers down on your money. I'm talking frosted glass limo money. I'm talking big cowboy hat, silver, turquoise buckle money. I'm talking gambling. I am in love with you. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Game Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. This week, I'm joined by the House of Cards executive producer, Doug Weishaddle, and we're going to actually talk about some of the biggest news stories happening in the gaming and casino industry. We're going to be talking about the Hall of Fame game. Oh, okay. Never had a chance to really talk about it since it happened. And it was... by the way, one of the reasons why I don't bet on uh, NFL preseason, I said I don't know who's playing, I don't know how long they'll be playing, and when it comes to the Hall of Fame game... It didn't even last the entire game. They called it an account of weather, which is the right decision. Yeah. You don't want to put anyone in danger for a practice game. But, well, you know. for those who didn't see the game, mm-hmm. uh, it was Bears versus Houston Texans. I uh, saw the first half. That's all. The, the, That's the, all the Texans were pregame favorites, you know, somewhere between a one and a half and a three and a half spread at all the books. By the way, how they do that. How the bookmakers do that without even know who's playing and how long they're playing for it, it just it, it, it it's sort of impressive that they can get it's sort this of number, but yeah. you know, but it's uh, it, it's got to be tough to do. Well, again, I think, and I could be completely wrong about this, but preseason sometimes these numbers look arbitrary. 
Well, yeah. And Look, I'm not practice. I'm not a bookmaker. It's so, practice. It's but again, practice. setting this up. Texans favored somewhere between one and a half and three and a half by the kickoff. Total the over under was thirty one and a half. Mm-hmm. Now the game got to the third quarter and then with about three and a half minutes left, it got called because of lightning. Well, delay it got it got delayed because of mm-hmm. lightning and rain and a storm coming in. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bears were up 21-17 on the Texans, Okay, um, which technically was a good result for the books. Just you know, a uh, lot of people were saying that. I, again, I, I, I saw the first yeah. half, and that was mainly to see the kickoff. Well, thing, what so. happened was after a uh, like about a half hour, 40-minute delay, they actually ended up calling the game and terminating it right mm-hmm. there. It ended with 331 left in the third quarter. Bears won 21-17. That led to a what lot. What I feel of, bad about that too is I, I I don't know how much the tickets were for the fans in the stands, but you know I I feel bad because of that if they paid a lot of money for that. So. Well, if they were staying for the but, third you know, and fourth stringers playing, yeah. then you know that that's hard. <laughs> well, well, people look, right there I mean, to begin with. it was done for safety. It yeah. was the right call. It was a practice game, and they want to keep everyone you know healthy and happy and yes. you know safe. But so. what happened with the game being terminated led everybody to panic when it came to the betting. <laughs> oh, that must have been a mess. Uh, well, again, it wasn't as big of a mess as you think because, okay. um, well, for the betters, you know, yeah. it teaches, it taught a huge lesson mm-hmm. for the betters. Check the house rules of the book you're betting with. Okay. Because a lot of times uh, the books have language in their house rules about unequivocally determined events okay. in a game. Okay, I've, I've never heard you use that term before, so I'm assuming you went to a book and looked at I looked the at rules. It. Yeah, everyone's got that phrase in it. <laughs> which, which, by the way, I have never looked at the rules of a book. So It's terrible for me to say that. I'm a lawyer. I should be looking at the rules and how it plays because out, but I've have, never done that. You so. have to look at what was happening here. Unequivocally determined, one of them was the over, because it was a 31 sure. and a half, sure. and it was a 40, uh, 38. Mm-hmm. So... That was technically unequivocally determined that it was uh, that people could cash in on that. So what, that's only some books. So, so I, I guess what you're saying it, it wasn't, you know, the same rules didn't apply for every book. Every so, book had something had different. Something, okay. Uh, take for example, one book said that uh, uh, anything other than the wagers made on the first half, since they got the first half in, sure makes sense. Were were, were given Absolutely. everything else was voided. Okay. Uh, Another book said that they have to, uh, for a game to be official for their rules, Mm -hmm. you have to have at least five minutes in the fourth quarter. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. Otherwise, everything's voided. They don't pay out anything. Oh, okay. Another one had, you know, again. And it didn't make it that far, right? It got to three and a half in the third quarter. Okay. Didn't make it to the fourth quarter. Didn't even make five minutes into the fourth quarter. Other books said it has to be 55 minutes of the 60 played. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. But again, other books said, okay, first half bets were paying out. If you did something for the first half only, since that was completed, mm-hmm. you know, it, it becomes a See, whole bunch a, of different things going on here. That's another issue. And like, like I said, you know, I, I don't bet preseason because these, these are practice games. They can be called for anything, yeah. you know. So, you know. Actually, FanDuel had a very interesting rule, and I'm going to read it here. So oh, people okay. who bet with FanDuel, you know, there are the, the books have different language in, in their house rules. This is FanDuel's rule for this. At least 10 minutes of, of official time must eclipse must elapse in the fourth quarter for bets to have action. Mm-hmm. If a game starts and is suspended prior to that time and not completed within 24 hours, all bets that are not unequivocally determined will be voided. Okay. There's where that unequivocally determined comes okay. in. Okay. You know, there used to be um, I, 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 the sports books not operating right now it was points bet didn't they have that uh karma bet or good karma bet or something like that yeah when everything that good yeah. karma rule when yeah. something went kablooey they kind of they made a decision depending on what yeah what what kablooey they uh gave avoided the bet or gave you the money back or something like that i don't know yeah. and and fanatics and by the way they're they're not operating yeah. anymore so maybe that didn't Go well, well, they're operating them. outside of the United they're States. They're operating outside of the United States. Yeah. But, but know, even I always f- like that that feature. Even that. Fanatics had an interesting rule. They had determined markets uh, if they're settled, you know, like any time touchdown. And, mm-hmm. you know, they were actually able to play pay out on some player props depending using their determination. Okay. So I, I just, you know, this is a good example 
especially nowadays, because I'm starting to see a lot of NFL games canceled because of weather. Well, you'll you'll see them in the preseason. You're not going to see them. Uh, I don't know about that. I think I remember one or two during the regular season that may have had some weather issues. I don't remember that. I'm I'm trying to remember because I remember seeing a lot of different weird things happen over the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. And it's just something to be aware of. It's a good indication. Yeah. yeah. This is preseason for the betters, too. Yeah. You got to learn how to work with the house rules. Yeah. So uh, wasn't an, another preseason game last year or the year before called? I don't know if it was weather related or whatever, but they just called it. Or I don't, I, I got to look that up. But you know, yeah. that's uh, be wary of we- weather. It. Weather has become a huge issue for the NFL, sure. especially the open air stadium. Sure, sure. But read the house rules, people. Yep. Stick around. We'll be right back with more House of Cards. The bathroom of your dreams is only a phone call away with BCI Bath & Shower. We can make your ordinary bath and shower extraordinary. This is not a cookie cutter design. This is a complete custom build that will fit your every need. It's never been easier or more affordable than right now to get the bathroom of your dreams. We have the best monthly programs in the industry with payments as low as $99 per month or no payments, no interest for 18 months with approved credit. The hardest part of your new bathroom is gutting and building the tub and shower. If your bathing area is old, there could be damage behind the walls and possible mold and mildew, which can be a serious safety issue. At BCI, we don't cover a problem, we fix it. Call now to get a never clean glass treated door with a no track system at half off for the first 50 callers. Factory trained, certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. Call 800-755-0466. That's 800-755-0466. You're listening to the House of Cards. Whoa! I think we got a show. Oh, yeah, we got a show. We definitely got a show. Oh, yeah, there's a show. Hey, it's all about ratings, baby, and we got them. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with House of Cards executive producer Doug Weishaddle talking about some of the biggest gaming and casino news stories of the month. This exit, I'm going to talk about the poker industry because uh, we actually had one room reopen, one room close, and one room expanding. Oh, all okay. in the span of a month here. Well, that's good. Yeah, and it's very interesting. To I told watch you I finally got industry. on my uh, yes. WSOP here on yes. the thing. Boy, it took forever. Well, this is all brick and mortar now. Uh, the, uh, online, so, okay, uh, but uh, you actually have to drive to these places. Yes, now? you actually how, have to physically get off your. How dare they make yes. me drive somewhere? Well, no, no, you not have to go to drive to the one that's closed. Oh, okay, there yeah. you go. So oh. you're saving some time there, mm-hmm. uh, but we have Maine which we don't talk about in the poker world too much, but Hollywood Casino in Bangor has reopened their poker room. The poker room had closed before uh, because of the pandemic. Oh, for for COVID? They're just reopening now, huh? Well, it it was... It's about over four years. Well, their race race book, which is also the poker room, uh, was doing extremely well. The race book was remaining open and all that stuff when that opened before There's nothing like a good race book. I love race book. You know, it's just one of those things. There's not a lot of them around anymore but uh well this know. this race book is so good they have given it its own space oh okay they have taken the the race book and poker room and just made it the poker room you, you know the best 
race book in New England, I always thought was it was the um, the one in Connecticut. Uh, which one? Foxwood. 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 Yeah, they I actually a, like Plain Ridge. Plain Ridge big was, one. Yeah. The Plain Ridge race book is pretty good. Yeah, that's pr- it's pretty good too. That's so. Massachusetts, though. Not Massachusetts. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, you've got only four poker tables, so that's well, if it's a nine-person table, that's what thirty-six, forty players maybe for the poker room total. If it's ever four poker table, usually was it nine eight, people? Nine people, eight, yeah. eight people. It depends on yeah. what they seat, eight yeah. or nine or you know some seven. I don't know. But, uh, and uh, they've got some new tech features as well. They're going to use the Bra- Bravo Live Poker app for scheduling. Okay. And also there's going to be QR codes on the tables that people can order food from the table. Oh, okay. That's so a nice little touch. You know, I, I always I always thought it was big technology when they had phone chargers at the table. Now yeah. you've got, like, QR codes yep. and things like that. So, uh, you know. It's pretty cool, and, and, as, and that app is such yes. a great thing to do. When you, the, which you know, one, the Bravo Live Poker, the Bravo, or are you talking about the QR code for the food? No, no, the the, the, the Live Poker because yeah. look, you you don't want to get there and sit on the wait list for a couple of hours, yeah. so it kind of moves things along. Yeah. You know, you can it's, uh, it's an efficient. You do thing. it before yeah. you leave home, and you know, you you set your spot, and yeah. you know, get in line, and so good. Uh, closing Motor City Casino is closing its poker room. Mm-hmm. Um, they just haven't seen the traffic. You know, they uh, decided to just go ahead and close close it down, shut it down. Uh, they had just announced uh, the poker VIP program uh, was discontinued July first. Everyone thought something was odd with that. Yeah. All yeah. of a sudden, now they say they are closing the poker room. No comment from the casino at the time we're doing this. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would assume it has something to do with lack of traffic there. Well, look, it's a it's Michigan is an online state. It's yeah. an online poker state. It doesn't mean there's less poker being played yep. there. Maybe it's just people are lazy like me. I I don't. I, I, there's nothing like laying in bed and yeah, playing yeah, yeah. playing a poker tournament or something like that. But and uh, last entry for here we have Bally's over in Twin River, the Twin River yes, Casino yes. Bally's, uh, Lincoln, Rhode times? Island, Twin, yes. Lincoln, Rhode Island. They are Great place. I like they just place. announced a deal with Maverick Gaming mm-hmm. to rebrand their poker room. It's the Maverick Gaming Bally's Poker Room or Bally's Maverick Poker Maverick Gaming Poker Room. Mm-hmm. They plan on trying to make this the largest poker room on the east coast good now you've got foxwood with over 100 tables you've got borgata i don't think foxwood has 100 tables they, they, have, they, they still do they still, have 100 they still tables. do really yeah, they don't use them all i, I didn't know that they just, so. but they also have a tournament room too sure. you, have, you factor sure. in the tournament sure. room with all that stuff so uh but yeah they've got 100 tables plus separate tournament area um so uh you know there's reports of that room going to be shrinking too yeah, yeah. so we'll see what well, happens look, there. The poker is difficult live because look when when the, the officials in a in a casino they always have to look at how much money a certain area of yeah. the casino makes and poker it has a high overhead you know yeah. you have to pay for staff and dealers and waiters and waitresses and food and you know you have to set aside a lot of a lot of space and it's not one of those you make money off the rake yeah you know you you the poker players are playing themselves yeah. so and Current yeah. room at Twin River is it's 16. A, it's a challenge. Current uh, room at Twin River is 16 tables. Mm-hmm. So they got a lot of work to do to expand. Well, it. I know they're doing a lot of construction there. So I, I'm, 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 I'm very curious to see where they're putting that, that room. So I, can't, I can't wait to see it. Well, we've got smartphones, smart cars. Basically, a smart appliance. We we uh, you actually just bought an air conditioner that hooks into your smart speaker. Oh yeah, no, I got, and I also have um, a place up in Massachusetts the uh, smart thermostat. Smart thermostat. Yes. Yeah. So it's a everything's controlled by an app now. Well, Everyone now has an app. Well, now when you go into a casino, you may start seeing the smart pit. All right, I don't know what that means. Over but... over in Mississippi, Penn Entertainment's Boomtown Casino Biloxi All right. had a grand opening and ribbon-cutting event for the Interblock Gaming's Smart Pit. Smart Pit? Right. All it's right. a game air on the casino floor with automated payouts, more efficient game operations. Hmm. Uh, it's uh, Biloxi's Boomtown is calling it the Easy Play Zone. All right. 
Uh, basically, the is sm- this? Do you need an app? Kind of. Th- I was joking around. Everything there, has an there, app. is there an cashless. App? It's all cashless. It's all cashless. There, there's uh, according to the reports. I guess you would need an app, and I guess your rewards card would there be are, registered with the app, yeah. kind of thing. But there are all tablets right. all around the tables that all you right. use to to make your bets. Okay. The well, way, what, what, when, when we talk about bets, what we're kind talking of about games roulette, we talking? Okay. Back, roulette, baccarat, craps, and blackjack. Okay. Yep. The uh, uh, Boomtown did not do uh, baccarat. They just did roulette, craps, and blackjack right now. Okay. But there is the possibility of adding baccarat down the road because right. that's what the overall smart pit has. Mm-hmm. Now they they focused on the roulette because that seemed to be the most popular one in these I, reports. I would think it would seem to be the easiest game to modify to what you need to be a smart pit you know i i'm seeing all these these sections in every casino now especially roulette where it's a you know, people are sitting around it but they're at sitting at their own kind of hub and they're watching the roulette no that's different that's i know different. it's completely yeah. different i know it's completely but i i would think roulette would lend itself to be a quote-unquote smart game well on on smart roulette Okay. The players are sitting around the table. They have panels in front of them mm-hmm. where they place their bets yeah. on the table. Mm-hmm. There's no money involved. There's no chips involved. The guy running the wheel gets to run two wheels. So there there actually is a casino employee running the wheel. Running the wheel. Right. And All since right. they don't have So there's the, an actual wheel. It's there's not two like wheels. A, there's oh, two wheels. Okay. All right. Since there's no the the, the dealer or the croupy, whatever you want to call the guy that runs the game, um he doesn't have to get the bets in. He doesn't have to exchange chips for money. He doesn't have to do any of that stuff. He gets all cashless. Mm-hmm. He runs one wheel. Once that number comes up, people are already betting on the next. He spins the next wheel. Wow. They're able to do 120 spins an hour instead of the <laughs> normal say, 35. How much money is being thrown at the casino? With, uh, that is incredibly fast. 120 spins versus 35 in a traditional That's like nonstop game. betting. Well, that's what they want to do. And also... There's, there's, it's also a security issue too. Well, because this pays there's for less, itself. Yes. Oh my god. Because you have less staff. Well, less staff and just more bets. Well, also one of the other important things about this smart pit, and it was pointed out, it's less training time. Well, because yeah, the yeah. the actual computer system controls everything else, yeah. other than the actual physical spinning I, the wheel. I would guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they have someone spinning the wheel. I thought the wheel would be automated, but it. it I think they need some human well, human interaction for yeah, the game, right. and and I understand that. I do understand. I, that. Yeah, you I do guess need so. That. Yeah, you do need that. But what a great job that is! I yeah, sp- I spin a wheel. That's all. Yeah, yeah. That that'd be great. Well, you get a. Uh, Shoulder injuries probably oh, wow. from that, no, but uh, I don't know. But I, wow, what a what a great casino job that yeah. is. So. so, but again, this is going to be interesting to see uh, see how quickly this spreads because this is such an incredible idea, a smart pit. Well, like, I mean, if it's efficient and it makes money, I mean, you got to reduce overhead and monetize the time, and that's how you make money in anything. So, I we'll see how this works out. But I. I I got a feeling this is going to be uh, really big for the casinos. Yeah, well, it also allows for better security because there is actually no money, no, no yeah. fooling around yeah. with chips, no yeah. fooling around yeah. with money, and it's all just in and out electronically to the person actually betting. I, I would guess for record keeping too for the oh, casino. Oh, yeah, you probably have great. to log in with it'd your loyalty card yeah. and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, so. You know, so I love this. I love yeah, this idea. Yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely incredible. I, I don't know how the labor unions feel about this because you're employing less people. I, I, w- I would tell you, like, probably old school casino goers would, you know, would not like that. You know, part of the charm of any yes. really great casino is the interaction. Well, that's with why the, the staff that's why the guy spinning like the wheel well, is there. He can still right, talk well, to people. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, that that part's not gone if the guy's actually physically there spinning the wheels. So, well, I'm I'm just saying, you know, it's, he just has more know. time to talk and spin wheels instead of uh, taking yeah, bets. You have to have that that uh, you know balance of being efficient and automated without. You know, you, you want to being too have robotic. That, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be too yeah. robotic. You yeah. don't want to. You want to get that personal touch there. Yeah. But you know, but no, it's, it sounds like a great idea. Stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards.
Sign up at jackpot.com and you can bet on the world's best lotteries where the biggest jackpots are up for grabs. Powerball, Mega Millions, some of the biggest lotteries can be found at jackpot.com. Simply choose your lotto game, pick your numbers, or use their quick pick feature, and you're done. Sign up at jackpot.com with code DRAW24 and get a free lottery ticket with your first deposit. Jackpot.com, it's the world of lotto in your hand. Terms and conditions apply. You must be at least 18 years old and in the United States to play. Void were prohibited. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Interest rates and inflation are out of control. Is your credit card debt also out of control? It's time to resolve your debt and take back control for a lot less than what you owe. If you have $10,000 or more in credit card debt, then you need to call us right now. Debt Fix Pros can significantly reduce the amount you owe, and you could be debt-free faster than you think. I knew we had to do something. Our debt was growing. It was getting out of control, and we just didn't know what to do. We saw an ad for Debt Fix Pros. We called and they showed us how fast they could get us out of debt. It really was amazing. And now we're back in control. Call now and we'll show you how easy it is to fix your debt. The call and consultation are free. Call Debt Fix Pros right now at 800-479-3522. That's 800-479-3522. 800-479-3522. With costs going up, Adam and Eve is the best deal around. With 50% off a sexy adult product at adamandeve.com. That's 50% off right now when you point the camera on your smartphone at the code on the screen. Don't get up. Just open your camera and point it at the screen. Hurry. You'll also get 10 free gifts, including free discreet shipping at checkout. This is your chance to get more for less. So scan now for 50% off plus 10 free gifts from adamandeve.com. If you don't have final expense life insurance, this message is for you. LifeCare provides valuable information about whole life insurance to help cover final expenses, medical bills, burial costs, and other final expenses. A final expense life insurance policy is fast and available to anyone between the ages of 50 and 80. No medical exam, no lengthy questionnaires, and no waiting period. Just answer a few questions and we'll do the rest. With the average funeral costing $9,420 and Social Security only paying $255, you need simple peace of mind for you and your whole family. Don't leave behind unpaid expenses. Your premium will never increase. Your policy will have a cash value and a death benefit that can never decrease. To find out how you can get final expense life insurance with a lifetime lock, Call 800-601-9488. That's 800-601-9488. You're listening to House of Cards. Where was the house? Where was the house of cards? Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishato with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code Turnpike, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code Turnpike at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with House of Cards executive producer Doug Weishattle talking about some of the biggest gaming and casino news stories of the month. Welcome back everybody. This is the by the number segment of the show where I put together collections of different numbers whether it's, uh, some, there's some sort of statistics that's sports related, whether it's sports betting, whether it's audience ratings, money, all different types of things, different topics, whether uh-huh. it's collectibles or basketball, football, sports, sports business. Okay. I basically put together collections of numbers and throw them out to Dave for him to guess what the hell I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Um, this week, I got two sets of pairs. Okay. All right. So four numbers in all, all right? Four numbers in all, okay. two, two set, and two. Two and two. All right. What was the old Chuck Woolery thing? Two, two and two? Two two. With yeah. that huge watch of his. Yes. But uh, right now, we're going to start off. I've got two set, uh, one set of numbers here that I have to deal with. Collectibles. Collectibles. More collectibles today. Okay. All right. One and 50,000. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. One, one million? No. One. 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 Uno. 
What? Has nothing we, to do with we the just card talked game. about Uno, but I don't. Has nothing one to do with and fifty thousand. Yes. Are any of these dollar figures? Yes. Well, you just told me the one isn't a dollar figure, so right. um, fifty thousand dollars. What could be fifty thousand uh, dollars? We just had the Olympics, and it's a collectible. Could it be a game worn jersey or or a event worn jersey? I, I know track and field isn't a game, but you can I, I'm going to do fifty thousand. You get an event worn jersey from a gold medalist. How's that? That's a cool one. Okay, you you basically combine two things here. Um, Did I, one, one was num- I close? One number is Olympic related. I, I'm going to say one that's... number is game worn related. Okay. Well, oh, okay. So, so my, well, my guess was the fifty thousand dollars was both, a game worn. Both are basketball in the both, Olympics. Both are basketball. Uh, both are basketball. Olympic. Well, I'm going to say game worn jersey from the Olympic. It was fifty thousand dollars. No. No. Okay. They were game worn jerseys, but this is from the NBA, not from the Olympics. Oh, okay. We have the latest fifty thousand Southern- NBA game worn jersey with fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. We, no, we sounds- have, as a matter of fact, we have six of them in all one auction. S- all in one six auction. total was each. S- each. Okay. All right. Okay. Tell La- me latest the- latest Sotheby auction had a lot of. 195 pieces of game-worn apparel from the NBA. All right. Six NBA game-worn jerseys sold for more than $50,000 each. Wow, okay. This is all from this postseason, 2024. Oh, okay. We've got three jerseys from Game 2 of the NBA Finals. Uh, Tatum jersey commanded $108,000. Wow. I was surprised at that one. I didn't know if he reached that level yet, but Tatum game-worn playoff jersey, Game 2 of the NBA Finals, $108,000. Dollars, Luka Doncic's jersey, uh, same game they said, eighty four thousand dollars. Okay, because he kind of, you know, didn't do do well in the play. The well, I guess thing there. I, I guess if it's a game worn jersey from a championship team, I would guess that would mean a little more money. More. Yeah. Well, Jalen Brown's jersey only went for sixty. Well, what game was that? I mean, well, game two of the NBA Finals. Oh, okay. These, are, These all, are all the same game. All same game. Okay. All same game. Yeah, okay. I'm. I'm just one. I can't remember how he did in game two because uh, yeah, I, got a I, I know Tatum back on game two was Tatum okay. the MVP. I think that might of the series. Okay. That might be yeah. why he got a higher price. But I remember, you know, some of these games. You know, Brown didn't play well. Doncic didn't play well at all throughout mm-hmm. the uh, series. Um, but the highest price jersey in the entire lot. Was Anthony Edwards? Yeah, his his jersey worn during Game Four of the Conference Finals, the Western Conference Finals, uh, eighty four thousand dollars. He actually beat uh, he tied Doncic and beat Brown. By the way, Jalen Brown was the MVP. Really, yes. I would have thought sixty thousand no. would have been you no. know yeah. So, but uh, yeah, so Doncic's Game One jersey of the NBA Finals sold for fifty grand. Hmm. They have a whole list here. LeBron James jersey worn in two games. During the Lakers elimination round, yeah. uh, you know they both sold for fifty thousand each. Mm-hmm. So there is a whole bunch of different jerseys that were sold for uh, fifty thousand dollars and above. Wow! And unbelievable. Uh, I didn't know this. Sotheby has a uh, deal with the NBA where they are the official auction house for game worn jerseys. So I guess right after the game, someone from Sotheby's comes and collects all the... Uh... Or they're delivered. I don't yeah. think they go collecting. I think they get them delivered from the NBA. Oh, yeah. They get them well, shipped yeah. over. Oh, kind of interesting stats, too. According to Sotheby, 75% of the total buyers of this new lot of game-worn material, new new uh, new bidders to Sotheby. New huh. customers, I guess you okay. can call them. New bidders, new customers. Okay. And uh, 50% of the bidders on its NBA auctions are under the age of 40. Okay. I would have thought they'd be a little more. Well, you know. But I guess it depends on the lot, too. I I wonder how many were from New England. (laughs) That's true. Yeah. I don't know if they have, uh, you know, anything. But uh, also there was a report 25% of the overall bidders are in their 20s. That's a brand new customer base for Sotheby's. Good. good. So a, a whole bunch of new kids are getting into new the, kids. Yeah, I don't, yes. don't call them kids. Uh, well, but, they're, they're in their twenties. They, you know, okay, new customer, mm-hmm. new new people are involved, mm-hmm. new age demographic. Yeah. So, okay. and the other one is one. Uh, this so is the Olympic this is the one. Olympics. Uh, one, it's collectible. I don't know if a medal is a collectible, but is I'll I'll call it a country just won one gold medal and 
that's valuable. I've after seen, after team after <laughs> team USA yeah, okay. after team USA beat France All right. in the Olympics, mm-hmm. uh, Tops created a one of one uh, trading card. Oh wow! Talk about valuable. A triple oh autograph card. Triple autograph card. LeBron James. Did, did someone set a price on that? Okay, LeBron James. Go ahead. Steph Who? Curry. Okay. Kevin Durant. Wow. Okay. Uh, First time ever. All three are on the same card. Now, did they set a price for that or no but what they did was incredibly smart marketing okay. now they have this game called gold medal game mm-hmm. which is team usa it's all based on collectible cards okay trading cards of players all right anyone who buys a base card set for this new game the gold medal game mm-hmm. gets a chance to win this one of one uh, so your name is put into a drawing kind the of thing? more you buy oh, okay. the more chances you get to wow. get this card uh, you get a chance to win this card now, will will tops get it graded for you? I mean, if you're getting this card, I'm assuming it's going to be a ten out of ten grade and no creases in the card. I, and I would stuff assume like that. it's going to be all prepped for you, okay, for whoever wins this card. But a couple, a couple, yeah, of you just don't of want that, in, like being sent through the mail and stuff like that. God knows what does in the bent in the envelope or whatever so um you know but like i said this is the first time all three are on the same card Mm -hmm. it's also the first time lebron james and steph curry will have their autographs on the same card so there's a lot of oh no this is groundbreaking stuff worth a fortune i mean that's going to be incredible that's why i'm wondering if it's going to be all prepared for you you know we you get this card then you have to take the extra steps of getting it graded and getting it you know into that plastic sheath so protective thing so hopefully tops does it for you well here's also the last interest because i'd be terrified to top i got some cards that we were talking about over the Last couple yeah. weeks, I'm I'm terrified to touch them because you get a little bend in the corner, and then there goes the value. Well, this also is going to be a very interesting card for the collectible industry because of this one last nugget I have for it. This is the first tops card that LeBron James has ever done. Oh, okay. So this is going to be wow. very groundbreaking in certain areas. This actually may be one of the most valuable cards recent in recent memory. <laughs> so we'll see where that goes. But uh, the game's not out yet. Okay. You have to pre-order. All right. So okay. I I don't know how much the decks are. I don't know. I don't. Okay. By the time this airs, they may have already awarded the card already. Yeah. So, who knows? But we always do advanced taping. So last number fifty million. Fifty million. Fifty million dollars. What did I say? Uh, you was s- that a sponsorship deal? Yeah, you said a sponsorship. So I, that was wrong. So no. nope, it's not right at no? all. Okay. This is a prize pool. $50 million? And we don't usually talk What's, poker uh, in this area. Oh, $50 million poker prize pool, huh? Yes. All right. Uh, this is the amount of the guaranteed prize pool for the $25,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em Championship at the upcoming WSOP wow. Paradise. That's insane. <laughs> that is a record. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it would yep. be. The largest guaranteed prize pool in live poker history over in the Atlantis Paradise Island in the Bahamas for WSOP Paradise. Wow. Uh, they had one last year. This is going to be the second annual WSOP so you, Paradise. you have a massive prize pool, and you also get to play poker in one of the most beautiful places on Earth. So yes. So what a, what a great event. But if you think about it, the prize pool is attached to a $25,000 buy-in. This WSOP Paradise mm-hmm. They have they're going to have one event that's a million dollar buy in. Wow. Okay. So I don't know where the fifty million is going to be. If they have fifty people do this other million dollar buy in, yeah. isn't that going to? You got it. <laughs> yeah. Don't you? Don't you? Well, no. This is for just for the twenty five thousand dollar buy in. Oh, okay. No limit. Oh, that's, okay. I see. I thought it fi- was for the whole. No, no, thing. not the whole, the whole shebang. No. Okay. The uh, WSOP. So this Paradise. is one tournament within this uh, this yeah. whole big event. WSOP Paradise think. is December sixth to the to the nineteenth. So mm-hmm. that's what two and a half weeks, two weeks. Mm-hmm. So it's thirteen days. So it's uh, two weeks. Okay. Uh, they're going to be doing that, and this twenty five thousand dollar no limit championship that with the fifty million dollar prize pool is just one event in there. They're going to have buy ins going from twenty five hundred to the million dollar one. I don't know what the million dollar one is. They haven't really announced the full schedule yet, mm. but I figure fifty million dollar guaranteed prize pool was worthy to talk about in this yep. segment. Oh, here. absolutely. So uh gonna be gonna be fun to see exactly where these other 
tournaments the buy-ins are, where, what the prize pools for their they, these things are. Sure. But second edition WSOP Paradise, looking forward to it. Yep. That's it for this week's By the Numbers. As always, if you have a number you think is uh, interesting that we should be talking about, info at turnpikesportsradio.com, getting some more of those coming in all the time. Uh, and then I'll be back next week with a bunch of different numbers for Dave to uh, guess at and for us to discuss a little bit more in depth each and each time. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. taxes to the IRS. Watch this urgent message. The IRS is cracking down by hiring 87,000 new agents to garnish your paycheck and put liens on homes and businesses. They can even seize your bank account. The IRS calls it enforced compliance, and now they have the manpower to get you. Penalties and interest on unpaid taxes compound daily. So call One Stop Tax Relief Shop and get the IRS off your back. They're experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. And no other tax shop gets you more or faster approvals. One Stop Tax Relief has resolved thousands of cases since 2014 and saved clients millions of dollars. Call now for a free consultation. Connect with tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Call 800-605-0688. It's a casino. People got to win sometimes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant colorful check to deposit. Welcome to another edition of Beating the House. I'm Doug Weishaddle here with Dave Weishaddle. We're going to be crisscrossing the country, sometimes the continent, sometimes even the world, talking about the latest jackpots in the casino and lottery industries. If it's $100,000 or more, we will be talking about it on this show. Press releases, info at turnpikesportsradio.com. Keep those coming in. We love hearing from everybody. Going to start off the show again with some news. We've got a couple of announcements from two different companies. We have Aristocrat Gaming we're going to start off with. Okay. Aristocrat Gaming announced the introduction of the all-new House of the Dragon slot game. Uh, This has got to look amazing. You know, some of these slot machines are just incredible when you see them on the gaming floor. You know, and no offense to the online makers, it kind of loses something when you're when it's on your phone or something. I was just playing a a Vikings slot game the other day, and it was it was pretty cool. But it's nothing like what you see on the gaming floor with these big cabinets and these uh, videos and things like that. Well, the House of the Dragon slot, speaking of cabinets, will be in Aristocrat's King Max cabinet, which is one of the biggest ones on the floor. This is going to hit the floor year-end. Oh, okay. I was going to say, is this out now? Because I, you no. know, go to Atlantic City and check it out, or fill it up. Not yet. No, no, no. This okay. uh, this actually will be debuted uh, at the at the G two E Global Gaming okay. Expo in Las Vegas this October. Okay, it will be on the casino floors by year end. No word on where it's going to go first. Uh, this is all based upon the uh, House of the Dragon show that's sure. on HBO. Yep. I haven't seen it because I am not a big Game of Thrones fan. House, <laughs> okay. House of the Dragon is a, is a sequel or, an, or a spinoff okay. of the Game of Thrones series that mm-hmm. HBO did. This is HBO's House of the Dragon series. It's beginning season two, or actually there, this is going to be... Uh, before the season two finale is being released. Okay. And then after the season two finale, this goes out onto the casino floors. I wonder if that's becoming a thing in for media companies. You know, you you know, they usually have like this massive slot game coming out. I wonder if that's kind of the thing to do now. It's it's you know, it's part of the typical rolling out of a show having a contract for a uh, slot machine or something well pretty much if it's some kind of fantasy show more often than not you're going to see a deal like that because 
quite honestly, if you're watching on TV right now, you're seeing the promo video that Aristocrat released mm-hmm. uh, with this uh, with the press release for this game. Yeah, uh, it, the graphics are amazing. Yeah. At I, least, I, at least I, in the, I, I in the you, uh, B-roll you, that we're you know, I, I was here. just in Atlantic City and I walking through the gaming floor, seeing like the videos and the technology involved in these slot games is just amazing. It's it's you know, gone are the days of the you know the one arm bandit and you had to pull the yes. thing into thing goes across now my god they're huge and the video screens are incredible and the graphics are amazing it's well between the game of thrones games and also the house of the dragon however you want to call it mm-hmm. uh you have what willy wonka is all over the place yeah now. yeah uh, i mean i've never seen so much that's gene you, wilder that, before that's, that's than what you casino. should do just walk down a gaming floor and see how many shows and movies yes. That slot games are based on it. It just it's incredible. It blows your mind. How about the Wonder Woman game from uh, yeah from that, the Linda Carter yeah, Wonder that, Woman? That was a couple of years ago. It rolled yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, but we're seeing everything. You know, it's it's going to be kind of fun to see this. This was done in partnership with Warner Brothers Discovery Global Themed Entertainment, mm-hmm. okay. which is the licensing arm of the uh, show itself. Okay. Uh, the other announcement came from BetMGM. BetMGM announced that they have the new. Hybrid dealer game MGM Bonus City in Michigan, which is the second state this game has been rolled out in, into. It was in New Jersey in October 2023, and it's been very successful for BetMGM Casino. It's exclusive to BetMGM okay. Casino. What's hybrid Hybrid dealer? Hybrid dealer. Did you just, what is it? It's, uh, it's is, is that a live dealer? It's a person standing in front of a green screen with a digital game behind oh, it. Oh, okay. I mean, we've, we talked about one of those beforehand, mm-hmm. So, uh, but uh, this is a hybrid dealer game. Uh, I just don't want to like, uh, I've got insult playing... anyone to just say live dealer. How dare you say live dealer? It's hybrid dealer. It's this, this is actually playing on the screen as we're talking. I oh, okay. actually have All a right. demo I have of not it. seen it. Yes. So. Uh, but MGM Bonus City, which is the newest version of this, transports players, and I'm going to use the press release wording here, transports players to the dazzling lights of Las Vegas and MGM properties oh, cool. where they can spin the wheel and place their bets. You can choose from eight different properties. You've got oh, that's New York, cool. New York, I like Luxor, that. MGM Grand, Bellagio, as well as other properties from MGM. But you can actually change the setting for the game when you're playing See, it. See, that's pretty cool. That's I, a nice I innovation. I like that. I like that. That's great. That's actually a great innovation. Good for BetMGM. I like that. Yeah, so that's a well, great feature. This is actually second state. I'm assuming they're going to be going into the other states. So at where, some where point. is this? Where are they doing it? This is first. the second. First came out in October of 2023 in New Jersey. Oh, okay. This is now in Michigan. Okay. So it's going to be expanding little by little. All right. As the game does better, more states are going to come sure, online. Sure. Now let's get to the jackpots portion. Jackpots portion of our show. All right. And we're going to go out to Nevada for the first one, Mm -hmm. and we're going out to what's becoming a very popular stop for slots players. Okay. The Harry Reid International Airport. Oh, wow. So, uh, yeah, we've been getting a lot of jackpots from Harry Reid. It's just absolutely incredible there. It's it's one of those things. That's the favorite place if you have to fly anywhere because you know what you got things to do you got to be there early anyway to get checked in and get checked out by dsa and things like that at least harry reed is they have slot machines there you can play if you're going to be there early you might as well you know have a chance to win a jackpot so well putting on my best ron burgundy imitation we have one lucky san diego san diego uh coming home with 1.5 million dollars from a slot machine at the airport Man was feeding the Wheel of Fortune machine near gate E10 in Terminal E10. 3. Okay. That's that's where they have a whole Terminal bank of the, 3. Yes. yes. Okay. The Terminal 3 casino, huh? That's basically what it is because so. if you look at some of the video of the International Airport, they have one area. I think this is Terminal 3 where it looks like a casino. Oh, well. Yeah, it's it's okay. set aside and it's just all banks of slot machines everywhere. Okay. So he was uh, feeding the Wheel of Fortune and he hit for $1,450,954 around 5 p.m. waiting for his flight on a Tuesday afternoon. On a Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday afternoon gambling. Look at that. Uh, according to the spokesperson for uh, Harry Reid, uh, the airport is only one of two United States airports to have slot machines. The other one is Reno Tahoe I, International. I was going to say Reno. Yes, yeah. they're the only two places with uh, slot machines mm-hmm. in the uh, in the I guess the terminals. Yeah, the terminals. Yes. Now, so, are they be bef- there after you check? I've I you know I haven't played there in a long time. Are they after you check in? 
Or I would assume they, they're after you check in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Because you got to get through your luggage and everything yeah, else. Yeah, you got to check in your yes. luggage and things like that. So. Well, we're leaving Nevada yeah, and right. we're heading over to Florida. And we got a whole list of different jackpots here, so I'm going to blast through some of these. But we're going to Florida now. Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, Tampa. Mm-hmm. Got an unnamed player playing the Golden Century Dragon Link game mm-hmm. made by Aristocrat. Okay. Uh, $25 bet. Hit for $1,300,847.68. Wow. Again, Golden Century Dragon Link is actually kind of a really cool game to look at. It's the Asian-themed game. Mm-hmm. Uh, been seeing a lot of the Dragon Links paying off a lot from uh, Aristocrat. I'm pretty sure I saw a lot of them in Atlantic City. I can't remember what casino I was in to... You know where I saw them at, but you know I, I think I did see a lot of them. Well, it seems to be a dragon type day with Aristocrat. We got Lucky Dragon. Oh yeah, no, it's well, Golden Century Dragon. Then we have House of Dragons. A lot we started of, a off lot with. of dragon talk. Yes. Uh, now we're going out to California. Mm-hmm. We've got Thunder Valley Casino Resort. A uh, well-known poker player, as a matter of fact. The Alan oh, Kessler. Yeah, I think I saw this. Chainsaw yeah. Alan Kessler. Yeah, I saw this on uh, social media. Yeah. He was over at Thunder Valley Casino Resort. He was doing a 12-hour slot session. I Yeah, okay. How much? He won over a million bucks, right? $1,210,108, wow. and he was doing uh, $125 per spin. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and he... and. Doing that for twelve hours, he he put yes. a lot of money in that yes. machine. Yes, yes, so. but it paid off. Yes, good for him. Congratulations. But he's he, according to uh, Alan, he's been a loyal patron of Thunder Valley for over ten years. You know, it's it's good when locals win. I, I like to see. Well, that. he's Las yeah. Vegas resident. This well, is California. Yeah, but he's he goes, he's close by. He he goes there a lot. Yeah. He said he's a patron. He's a loyal patron, as a matter good. of well, fact. So good. Uh, good. Twelve hours, one hundred twenty-five bucks a spin. One million two hundred ten thousand and one hundred eight dollars, and congratulations, Alan, on the big win there. Yep. Uh, heading back out to Florida now, we've got a Seminole Classic Casino jackpot to mm-hmm. hit. Uh, we've got a slot player striking striking gold on a, and I've never seen this game, Lucky Lions slot machine mm. by Ainsworth. I've seen it online. I've never seen it in a casino. Okay, I I I don't. I'm not sure what it is. I, I, that might be one of those machines you you recognize it when you see it, but knowing the names of some of these, I don't I don't know any of the names. So lucky lions. Well, if you keep an eye out, if on you it. play on BetMGM Casino, mm-hmm. go to the Ainsworth section there, okay, and you'll see lucky lions there. Okay. I just like I said, I've never seen it in the brick and mortar, but they obviously, obviously have brick they and mortar. Have it. Yeah, so. but we have a five dollar wager on lucky lions. Two hundred twenty-seven thousand wow. seven dollar and twenty-five cent jackpot. That's the progressive. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a. Uh, it was reset to one hundred twenty-five thousand after that. Okay. So tw- a five dollar wager. Far cry from the one hundred twenty-five dollar spins yeah. that Alan <laughs> okay. was doing. So how much was the spins? Five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, it's about yep. my speed. Yeah. You know, okay. Uh, now we're leaving Florida and heading to Mississippi, where Mississippi has been. Kicking out jackpots yeah, left and right. It seems like every week we have something from Mississippi. We have, is this Biloxi again? This is Biloxi. Okay. We have Beau Rivage again. All right. We've been doing a lot of Beau Rivage talk mm-hmm. lately. Uh, we have the fifth $100,000 or more jackpot of the year hitting on a 10.45 p.m. Tuesday night slot session. Wow. Uh, from A per- player from Alabaster, Alabama. Remained uh, Alabaster. anonymous. Okay. Alabaster, Alabama. Okay. A uh, hundred dollar p- uh, a spin pinball machine. I'm sorry, he was a hundred dollar pin hundred dollar pinball slot machine. His bet on this was two hundred dollars. Okay, he won one hundred sixty thousand dollars. Wow, nice. Well, I've hey, never seen the pinball I, slot. I, machine, I don't know. To be honest, I with would you. guess I would know when I saw it. I, I'm assuming it looks like a pinball machine. And uh, according to Beau Rivage, this is their fifth jackpot of a hundred thousand dollars or more since March eighth. Wow. Uh, Some loose slots in Mississippi. Yes. Well, Beau Rivage is still celebrating their 25th anniversary, mm-hmm. so uh, they're, they've yeah, been kicking out some that. money. And five other jackpots were won at uh, Biloxi Casinos this year as well. So mm-hmm. there's about nine casino, nine jackpots since March 8th oh, at wow. these casinos. So okay. uh, they're all over $100,000. So uh, head on over to Mississippi at yeah, some point. Boy. Uh, we're now heading over to Nevada, where we are going to Treasure Island, Las Vegas. Uh, we have an unnamed visitor at Treasure Island who was playing the Monte Carlo Spin and Win slot machine. All right. No idea what that is. I, I don't know. 
God. But uh, it's hey, a, obviously it pays off if you're talking about them. It's a Texas visitor. All right, going to Las Vegas, Treasure Island, Las Vegas. Three dollar bet on mm-hmm. the slot. Okay, one hundred and twenty two thousand nice. seven hundred and twenty dollars. Good. Uh, leaving Nevada again. I'm jumping all over the country here. So, are you, do you do them by uh, descending order of jackpot? Descending jack order of jackpots, <laughs> okay. Yes. We've got a California jackpot again. We're going back out to the state of California. We've got Valley View Casino and Hotel. We have a lucky man who had just finished his dinner and saying, "Boy, it'd be nice to finish the night by going to the casino and winning a jackpot." Mm-hmm. As luck would have it, yep. he won $105,654 at Valley View Casino and Hotel. He's a frequent visitor. No word on what the bet size was. Okay. Uh, but he did win $105,650. Um, according to the uh, release from the casino, he was playing one of their state-of-the-art slot machines at when he hit the jackpot. Okay. No word on what the actual machine was. Yeah, but it was state of the art. It was they're all state of the yeah, art now, weren't they? <laughs> state of the art. So, so uh but uh that's the run of individual places for the jackpots. We're now heading out to Jersey and I think you know what we're gonna be doing here. Oh, Jersey jackpots. We have another edition of Jersey Jackpots, the show within our show here. Now this is gonna be for the second half of July. I remember the last time we did Jersey Jackpots, it was the first Half this is July. the second half of July, right. and we are now heading over to Jersey Jackpots, and we're going on July 16th. We're starting off online with BetMGM.com, Evolutions Five Families. Okay, <laughs> I don't I didn't mafia even, related. I, I I gathered that yes. from the name of it. One hundred four thousand two hundred ninety dollars and sixty two cents. All right, from the five families over there. July 17th, we're going to FanDuel Casino, where we have $101,077 being paid out on Light and Wonders, Ultimate Fire Link, China Street. Mm -hmm. On July 19th, we have a pair of jackpots, one online, one brick and mortar. We've got $117,754.73 on DraftKings.com, playing Divine Fortune. We haven't had Divine Fortune in a while. It's a fun game. And then we go over to the boardwalk. We've got Hard Rock Atlantic City. Aristocrats high stakes lightning cash paid out one hundred thousand dollars and four hundred thousand four hundred thirty eight dollars seventy three cents. All right. Uh, over on July twenty first, we were staying at Hard Rock on the boardwalk. We've got Aristocrats Egyptian Jewels Dollar Storm. Hmm. By the way, I had to look that one up because all it said in the uh, spreadsheet from the Division of Gaming Enforcement was Aristocrats Egyptian Jewels DS. Oh, dollar storm. Dollar okay. storm. So we have $139,439.32 at the Hard Rock property on the boardwalk. Hmm. Uh, July 22nd, we've got DraftKings.com. I think that's our second DraftKings entry for the week here. $976,669.82 wow. playing DraftKings Gold Blitz. I don't even know what that is, but i got to check it out. Every casino has a version of Gold Blitz. All right. Uh, this one is DraftKings themed kind of thing. And this so. was DraftKings.com, huh? DraftKings.com, wow. DraftKings Gold Blitz. As a matter of fact, I was actually the other day on Wheel of Fortune playing their Gold Blitz game. Oh, I didn't, okay. So I everyone, everyone's got, everyone everyone's has a got, Gold Blitz. Exactly. Uh, going over to July 24th, we've got four jackpots to talk about. What was going on July 24th? I don't know, but it's a biggie. Oh, man. We have one of the biggest jackpots of the year being oh, hit. okay. Uh, 180000 at Tropicana Brick and Mortar on the boardwalk, playing IGT's Triple Diamond. All right. That's, the, uh, that's a classic game, as a matter of fact. Uh, now, here's the big guy. DraftKings. We got Evolution's Gonzo's Quest. Which has been around for quite a yeah, while, Gonzo's yeah. Quest. I've heard of it. Two million wow. three hundred eighty-three thousand two hundred seven dollars and seventy-three cents being paid out there. Wow! I tell you, whenever you deal with DraftKings dot com, there are some huge numbers kicking out there. Uh, DraftKings dot com has had a really good m- July if, in terms of jackpots. Yes. I remember the first half of July, there was a lot of DraftKings dot com. A lot of hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Staying with DraftKings dot com, we've got go. di- this is Digital's Fishing Bigger Loaded Pots. All right, as you can imagine, it's a fishing game. Mm-hmm. 
DraftKings.com paid out $259,800 on that game. Hmm. Okay. And our last one of the of the day here on the 24th, we have Hard Rock Casino, not the brick and mortar, but hardrockcasino.com. Okay. AGS's Grand Royale slot machine, mm-hmm. $101,400. Wow. Okay. Moving over to July 25th, we had a lot of $100,000 winners here. Mm-hmm. Borgatacasino.com, not okay. the brick and mortar, the online. $197,164.32. Playing Mercy of the Gods, oh, which is the sister game to Divine, Divine Fortune. Fortune. Yeah, it's a fun game. July 28th, we're over at BetMGM.com, and this is my favorite manufacturer. I say this every week because I love saying the name. We've got $147,189.85 playing Paul, Big Money Frenzy Jackpot Royale. Yes, Paul is the manufacturer's name, yes, right? Yes, he's, okay. he's not the guy taking your money to Paul, play the game. Paul, Paul is the <laughs> manufacturer. All right. So now that was the end of ju- the month of July for Jersey Jackpots. Okay. And as always, like I say, I get a spreadsheet from the Division of Gaming Enforcement. They do $50,000 or more for the, every time they do these updates. They do them every two weeks again. So mm-hmm. for a while, okay. they did they did June, the entire month of June for some reason all by itself. Okay. But right. they did the second half. But now we have the end of July. Now, through the, from January 1st through July 31st. Okay. 1,113 jackpots of $50,000 or more were paid out. Totaling one hundred eleven million six hundred eight thousand eight dollars and eight cents. Okay. Uh, we have nine jackpots of a million dollars or more through July thirty first. We're dragging behind July of last year through July of twenty twenty three. There were ten jackpots okay. of a million dollars or more. So we got a, we got some catching up. To yeah, do. no, I think we'll do it because oh, yeah. August is a big vacation month. So yes. I'm expecting a lot of uh, big jackpots in August because yeah, I was in Atlantic City and it was packed. So uh, it should have a good August. Yes. Uh, but that's it for Jersey jackpots. And also that's it for beating the house this week. Uh, you know, I'll have some more lottery jackpots next week, but uh, we had a lot of slot jackpots to catch up on for this show. Uh, congratulations to the winners we talked about. Congratulations to all the winners out there. We only do $100,000 or more. There's a lot of other jackpot winners out there of all sizes and from all different parts of the country, all different parts of the world. So congratulations to everybody out there. As always, press releases, info at TurnpikeSportsRadio.com, and I will be back next week with even more jackpots. Well, that'll do for us this week. We'll see you next time with House of Cards. Stay.